All right, so clogging my girlfriend's toilet. Honestly, before the story starts, I just want to mention that if you guys have a strong stomach, you guys can handle being in here. And if you don't, well, just stick around because honestly, this is going to be totally funny and insane. And like I usually say before the story starts, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And as well as, if you guys don't know, today I'm actually doing a hot tub stream live on Twitch. That's right, I'm currently live right now as you guys are watching this video in a hot tub on Twitch. So make sure you guys do go check it out. Links down in the description below. Now, other than that, let's get straight into this crazy story. Yo, what is going on you guys my name is Bubba and welcome back to an insane story so funny enough this story goes back when I was in high school back when I was in high school I believe this was my grade 11th year and I remember having a girlfriend for a bit now me and her weren't anything like super super serious because uh, let's be real here being me being the ultimate f boy back in high school was not easy but I can't say this much me having feelings and being a hopeless romantic was true and I remember I had this one little fling or girlfriend I would say and me and her were close many of our classmates like knew about like me and her but to be honest we kind of just kept it low key we never really put a title on it but to each other you know we kind of have that sense but one thing that you guys need to understand before the story does like really get in depth with me well let's just say clogging her damn toilet is that in every relationship you guys will have eventually stages stages to the point where when you guys are really comfortable with each other or when you guys are not so comfortable and by being really comfortable i mean when me and this girl were talking like we weren't super comfortable to the point where we could fart around each other like i think like hearing a girl fart is like seeing the holy grail of like women like i don't i didn't even know girls did fart i thought they tooted going on like I was saying though so I remember one time when I was in class I remember going to language arts and me and her we actually shared the same language arts class and in language arts you usually learning about like crazy like stuff in English like using the right your and stuff and having like cool arts and crafts I don't know it's just a whole bunch of doohickery and honestly I never understood it going on though I remember me and her sat beside each other and we actually we were talking but as we were talking I remember she looked at me and she's like hey instead of just always doing like the devil's tango all the time do you want to like maybe like actually like I don't know go out for dinner or something I remember I looked at her and I'm like damn okay she's really asking me for dinner tonight that was my first thought at least but then i remember i was like you know what i kind of do like this girl might as well just take her out so i remember i was like sure like i'm down like if you want to go for dinner like yeah that's cool we can go after school today she looks at me and kind of like smiles in like a way of, like she was actually like expecting this to happen after all the times we've done the devil's tango and like honestly like i didn't mind it going on i remember like towards the end of the school day she comes up to me all excited and she's like are you ready to go on our date and i remember i took her to my car we got in my car because i had the silica at that time and we ended up going for a drive and as we were driving i remember i looked at her and i'm like i have no idea where you want to go for dinner she looks at me and she's like well, like what are you feeling me in my head honestly my go-to food is usually sushi i love sushi i don't know how you japanese people do it you guys made some glorious food but i looked at her and i told her hey like maybe you want to go for sushi she looks at me and she's like nah sushi is like boring like we should try something special what sushi was boring i don't know this woman had some major brain damage or something but she didn't want sushi so i remember what ended up happening was that as we were driving she looks over at like across the street and sees some kind of Mexican shop. Now, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with Mexican food whatsoever. Obviously, like the daily taco and just eating, like it's a good thing. Like I like tacos. I like Mexican food. Like you guys have some amazing food. If you're Mexican, type in the comments down below. What's your favorite type of Mexican food? Or anyone can type that really. Anyway, sorry. Like I was saying though. So I remember as we like me and her, we got out of my car and we ended up going to this Mexican restaurant. We went in there and we sat down and we started eating. I ordered some kind of like spicy plate of like food. I don't know. I'm a killer for spicy food. And she ordered just some weird salad that was like a mexican salad in my opinion it was just a caesar salad but apparently it was a mexican salad i have no idea anyways i remember we were eating and as we were eating like you know she was talking to me about getting serious and stuff and honestly in my mind i just wasn't ready for that step i wasn't ready to really you know go to that title because she wanted to like start talking about the title it, it, let's just say she literally said hey like i think like me and you should like really just you know put a title on it and like let the classmates know who we are you know just we might as well just make it happen because we always see each other and i remember i looked at her and i was just kind of like yo just like let me think about it you know just let me let me think it through and then as i told her that i remember she looked at her phone because it vibrated and apparently she told me that her parents were leaving she literally explained to me like this hey so like my mom just texted me and said they're leaving right now out of like the house i guess they're like going out to like a trip or something you want to go to my place and when a chick says she's home alone or when a chick says she doesn't have parents over you know what was my main thing to do in high school i dashed to their house and knowing that the chick was already with me no why not go home with her win-win scenario it was like I was already 20. So I remember we ended up getting in my car after eating and we ended up going to her place. And when we did, I remember me and her, well, we went up to the bedroom and as usual, I did the devil's tango. But he, the issue was here. I remember the main issue was that the Mexican food that was in my stomach started rumbling. And I remember as me and her were doing the devil's tango, my stomach was like rolling loud. Like it was just so much making noise to the point where she even like stopped me halfway through saying, hey, like your stomach's like really making noise. Are you okay? I look at her and I open my 
eyes wide and I realized that my eyes were watering and it got to the point where I farted in front of her. She looks at me. She's like, did you just fart? And I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I remember dashing to the bathroom. Like I literally sprinted to the bathroom and I sat down and oh my goodness. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I poop on stream a lot. Like if you guys ever join my Twitch live streams, like yeah, when I go to the bathroom, you guys can hear me talk to you guys as I'm doing it. But this one time specifically, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I shat like there was no tomorrow. It was like giving birth to like a giant brown poop. It was unreal. I remember as I was like, you know, pushing hard with my stomach and you know, we all know the feeling of having a bad stomach ache or a bad, you know, toilet day. I remember I hear her knock on the door and she's like, hey, like, do you need any help in there? Do you want me to come in there and help you? Hell no, girl. I'm pooping. Like, I, I didn't know what to tell this girl, bro. Like, we're not even that close. Like, damn, like, I didn't think like me and her wanted to be closer. She wanted to literally come in and see me poop. Like, what is this knowledge? Hello, brain damage. It just didn't make sense to me. It, I was just mind blown by how she wanted to come in. And I literally told her, um, I'm going to keep the bathroom door locked. Thank you, though. When in reality, I had a million things going on in my mind. Then, you know, after a while, I'm not going to lie. I want to say like 30 minutes in, I was fine. I was feeling all right. And I remember, you know, wiping, standing up. And I'm like, okay, I'm all set. I'm good to go. I remember like I tried flushing her toilet and God, oh my goodness. Like, like there was like a mountain on there. Like, I'm not joking. Like it made Mount Everest seem small. But going on, I flush her toilet. It goes, clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, no, this thing was not going down. Pressing it over and over to the point where like the toilet started flooding. And at that point, she knocks on the door and she's like, hey, like, is everything all right in there? Like you've been there for a minute. Girl, I've been here 35 minutes and you're telling me now that the toilet's clogged, do you want to come in here? So I remember open the door and I, you know, out of embarrassment, I, I, I closed the toilet seat as it's like flooding out of water. And she looks over at the toilet and she's like, did you really just clog my toilet with Mexican food? No, girl, I clogged it with my poop. Oh no, she got all upset and everything. And I remember she had it, actually wanted to open the toilet seat, but I told her like, if you open up that toilet seat, you're not going to want to see me again. She looks at me and she's like, ah, don't worry about it. Like you're just messing around. She opens the toilet seat and she opened her eyes wider than she's like the first time she saw my eggplant. Like she was freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh. Like it was like, I could solve world hunger with how much I did in that toilet. Okay guys, like it was bad. Going on, I remember like she looked at me and I looked at her and we both did not know what to do. We were both panicking in a way where we had no idea how to fix this toilet issue. And then I remember since her parents were gone, we had to figure out a way where we could get this fixed without her parents knowing. So I had this idea and no one should do this idea, by the way, this was a bad idea, but we didn't end up doing it. But the, my idea was to dig the poop out and throw it in the toilet. I don't know. Are we allowed to throw poop in the toilet? Are, like, is that, is that legal? Like we can do it for dogs. Can we do it for human like feces? Is that, is that allowed? I don't know. I have no idea, but I told her that idea and she's like, I am not digging into your poop. And I'm going to be honest. Like it was a two person job down there. Like she didn't want to do it. So I remember I was like, okay, you don't want to do that. Then we can go to plan B. Plan B was to go to her neighbor's house and ask her neighbor to help us out. Cause her neighbor was a plumber luckily. So I remember I ended up walking over to the neighbor's house and I said, Hey, like I'm just a random stranger. I randomly want to use this person's house to go use the toilet. And I ended up clogging the toilet. The neighbor looks at me all weird. He's like, what? And he's like all like confused. And I remember we ended up going to like her house and I went with the neighbor and he went and looked at the toilet and he was even shocked. And this guy was like 40 years old. He could legit be my dad. And he was judging me. Honestly, I don't know. Things got worse and worse. And I remember it got to the point where like, you know, th the whole situation was settled. Luckily, somehow he had some kind of like worm thing to put down the toilet through all my PCs I put in there and ended up fixing it all. But the main thing was, was that when he was fixing it, me and, you know, the chick I was seeing, we ended up talking and it turns out that we uh yeah we have a lot of differences and let's just say mexican food was one of the major ones since then like i don't get me wrong i have the daily mexican food but it just wasn't for me other than that guys by the way quickly want to mention before the video ends i am currently doing a hot tub stream right now as we speak i am live in a hot tub right now that's right i could be like the next hottest twitch streamer in a hot tub so i'm gonna be telling stories in a hot tub click in the description down below if you guys want to get there and like i usually say fall for more embarrassing stories all right peace out guys